Well, hey everybody, this is Joe. And as you know, I recently did a drone flight down at the Tesla lithium refinery plant near Corpus Christi. And it has generated a lot of responses and a lot of interest from viewers and supporters. And I've received a flood of information from a lot of people around the world about the site and asking for more information. So because of that, I have decided to make a multi-part video series to talk about many of the details of the refinery plant and I hope that you find it very interesting. Now, part one is gonna talk about the location and the land purchases that Tesla has made for this facility, and I think you'll find it very interesting, and it kind of gives you an idea of what the future may hold for the refinery plant itself as construction continues. Part two is gonna talk a little bit about the ponds, the very large ponds that I noticed as I flew over the site. It was a surprise to me, but they aren't what I think most people think, and we're gonna get into that and talk about what is the purpose of the ponds and how do they serve the site. Part three is also going to talk about an observation I made, which has to do with a white material that was being put on the soil all over the area. Now, this is an important part of the construction process, particularly in this part of Texas, and we'll go through that in part three and explain what is it for. Part four is going to talk about the refinery design itself. Now, this is partially based on the renders that uh, Tesla has provided. It's also based on my observations while I was doing the flight and with a lot of information that has been coming in from many viewers. Part six is gonna talk about kilns, coolers, and also the installation of these very massive items, how they function and what role they play with the processing of lithium here at the refinery that Tesla is building. And part six is gonna talk about the actual lithium processing process that uh, Tesla is planning on implementing here at the factory. Why is it different than the current industry standards? What does this mean for lithium processing? And just generally, what are the basics of that process and various materials that you'll hear throughout the rest of the parts of this series, such as what is spodumene and what is lithium hydroxide and what are some of the byproducts that are made. So anyway, I hope that you will enjoy this series of videos. I will begin to release them shortly and it will go through the next many days. I am still processing a few of them uh, as there's been such a lot of information, but I do hope that you find this very informational and educational. So take a look for my videos coming up very soon.